The purpose of this work is to study a double perovskite with magnetic frustration, strontium, ethium, ruthenium, oxygen. The initial motivation for the work is to understand the origin of a double peak in the specific heat. In order to find the magnetic structure, we perform neutron diffraction data. I want to call your attention to a small magnetic reflection which appears at the same temperature window from 24 to 27 Kelvin, coinciding with the double peak in the specific heat. In order to analyze the magnetic diffraction, the first thing we have to do is to choose a propagation vector. Previous studies have used the propagation vector K0 which led to a type 1 antiferromagnetic order at low temperatures. We believe that this is not correct, and we should use a different propagation vector, k half, and this would lead to a different antiferromagnetic structure at low temperature, which is called k and y and 4 type. In this slide, we can actually see the low temperature structure with the two ruthenium sublattices. So this is actually the first main finding of our work. We found a different low temperature magnetic structure to what was known in the literature up to this point. Now we studied the temperature dependence of the magnetic structure and we found a canting angle between the two ruthenium sublattices. And what we found which is very interesting is a double peak in the canting angle, again coinciding with the double peak in the specific heat. If we plot the ruthenium magnetic moment as a function of temperature, we find a very smooth variation, which reinforces the fact that the choice of propagation vector is indeed correct. Now we're going to see a small video which shows the evolution of the canting angle as a function of temperature. At the top of the picture, we can see the temperature. And now we're going to play and we're going to see the evolution, how the canting angle evolves with temperature. At very low temperatures, the canting angle is nearly zero. At one point, there's going to be a superstructure and the canting angle is going to suddenly rise to values nearly to 90 degrees. So if we watch now, the, the superstructure appears, the canting angle increases very much. We have the, the double peak in the canting angle as a function of temperature. And again, the canting angle goes to zero and the, and the ruthenium magnetic moment goes to zero again. So this is a very interesting result which shows how the magnetic structure evolves with temperature. The authors of this work are Bernardo, myself, Givelder, Amorim and Garcia from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil and John Neymar from Montana State University in the USA. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you're going to read the paper now.